instead of you know, being just told that your behavior is wrong or penalized in some way for your behavior, if you actually understand why it has negative impacts, what it does to harm other people, you're much more likely then to form your own moral principles around trying to do right by others. There's a classic study of rescuers during the Holocaust who put their own lives on the line in order to save, in some cases, complete strangers. And the question was, what made them different from their peers living in the same towns who never stepped up and became heroes? And the answer was that, in part, their parents responded very differently when they misbehaved. So the ordinary citizens were constantly punished when they did something wrong, and they learned to try to avoid negative consequences. Whereas the Holocaust rescuers, instead of being punished, they were actually given explanations. So when they broke a rule, they were told, look, you know what, this is a rule that might seem silly, but here's the value or principle behind it. Or here's how your behavior hurt other people. And then they were much more likely to reflect on the ultimate impact of their behavior on others, which meant that when they found themselves in a situation where they could potentially save lives, they were much more likely to step up. Now, of course, we don't know whether this, this parenting strategy ultimately caused them to engage in these extraordinary acts of heroism and sacrifice and courage. What we do know, though, is that they learned to engage in a different kind of moral reasoning. You need to feel that other people rely on you. I think parents often miss that with children. Right? We feel that it's our job to teach them, to protect them, to care for them. And we don't ever give them the chance then to build their own resilience by helping us solve problems. And so I think that one of the ways we can, we can put this advice into action is to ask our kids for guidance every once in a while. I know when I'm nervous about a big speech, for example, I've actually gone to our kids and asked them how I should manage that anxiety. And that shows I have a lot of confidence in them. It also gives them a chance then, when they find themselves in a similar situation, to think back on the guidance that they've offered. And that makes them feel like they're active, right? That they have something to contribute and offer, as opposed to just being dependent on other people. And I think that every child needs to feel that they matter. The idea that even children as young as six or seven need to feel that other people are counting on them, that they can make a difference in the lives of others, is an important way to make them feel that they matter and to build their strength. Thank you.